This time we headed to the Taurus Mountains to visit one of the best preserved ancient cities in Turkey, Sagalassos. But why did people settle in these mountain slopes? How did they make living? And when and why did they leave? The city's extreme isolation has been both a blessing and a curse. That's the road which is leading up here to this ancient city. Yeah, there are quite a lot of curves. Basically, Sagalassos was divided into the lower city and the upper city. And right now we are in the upper city. And all this, what you see right there, it used to be the city hall. Sagalassos was a hilltop settlement and organized community life originated by the late 5th century before the common era. At this location, all the needed resources were nearby. Forests for energy, natural resources for water, good land and grounds, stones which were used as a building material and other resources for craft activities. And since it was a hilltop settlement, it was relatively easy to defend it. Yeah, I actually don't know if it's just one of those lucky days or if it's the fact that it's winter or it's just super remote but there are literally no people, like nobody. <laughs> it's super peaceful and quiet, it even makes me uncomfortable to, you know, talk. The most reliable source of income was working a land or what was even better was owning a land. Some families made some extra money by setting up shops or letting out accommodation, while others managed to reach faraway markets. Middle-class inhabitants specialized on artisanal production, worked temporary jobs, for example as a workforce on big building projects, or joined the harvest. They also told me that the best period to visit this place is in spring, because apparently it's just covered with flowers. But right now it's the end of March and and it's still quite cold. I mean, we are up high in the mountains, so it kind of makes sense. Sagalassos was an extremely important city built on a hill and surrounded by valleys that were gradually incorporated to its territory. Unfortunately, there were several events in the 6th and 7th centuries because of which the importance of the city declined and one of the events was a major earthquake which destroyed that classical city. But even after that, people still continued to inhabit Sagalassos. Also, to be honest, I actually had no idea that this place is or was this huge, like you can literally spend the whole day just walking around and exploring and reading about the place and yeah, it's really cool. So, but why did the inhabitants eventually leave? When the city of Isparta was conquered by the Seljuks in 1204, the fortress of Sagalassos was destroyed. After that, the community continued to live at Sagalassos for a little while longer, but eventually the city was abandoned forever.